revelation until you first get the revelation of who he is. And you know, there's people pray. Oh, I, I tell you, the Muslims pray three times a day. They're devout prayers. But do you know that they're not praying to the one that's alive, that raised from the dead? They're not praying in his name. What is his name? Jesus. You know why the Jews' prayers are not getting through? I love the Jews. You know why their prayers are not getting through? It's because they don't recognize Jesus as a Messiah. He cried out in the streets, but they rejected him. Boy, when you reject Christ, there's a penalty to pay. Because your children will reject Christ, usually. You're, and if you're leaders of a nation and you're the religious leaders of a nation, your nation will reject Christ. Look at Luke 13. Hallelujah, if you will. Verse 22 through 30. I'm going to try to read this fast. 13, 22 through 30. And he went through the cities and villages, teaching and journeying towards Jerusalem. Then said one unto him, Lord, are there few that be saved? And he said unto them, Strive to enter in that straight gate. For many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in and shall not be able. Now, who is the straight gate? How many know we got to walk straight when we get saved? But who is the straight gate? The straight great gate is Jesus. There's a narrow way to get to heaven. And it's the way of Jesus. He is the only way. Amen. Strive to enter in that way. I don't want to try to get to heaven by my religion. Peter's not going to be standing at the gate deciding where I come in or not. My decision is made here. My faith is in the Lord Jesus Christ. He is my redeemer. He is the Father's. He is God's sacrifice. And he's the only way to be saved. I can pray till I'm blue in the face, but if I'm not praying in the name of Jesus, I'm not getting anywhere. God will not hear my prayers. Does God hear mercy prayers sometimes when somebody cries out? Does God have mercy? Yes, he does. But if you're going to make it to heaven, you can get delivered from, a, from a, a, a bear trying to eat you up, but you can still go to hell. Come on now. It's a narrow way to get to heaven. Jesus is that narrow way. Oh, hallelujah. And so I want, you to, I want you to look at this right here. Does God want this message to get out? Yes, he does. Hallelujah. Well, you know what this tells me? It tells me if the nation that it was intended for misses it, I can miss it. I don't know where you know it or not, but Jesus is about to come back. You say, how long it's going to be? You can talk to sinners. They'll tell you they know. Jesus is about to come. They're scared to death. But they ain't scared enough to turn their life over to the Lord yet. But he's coming. When once the master in the house has risen and have shut the door, we begin to stand without and knock at the door saying, Lord, Lord, open unto us. And he will answer and say unto them, you, you I, uh, uh, say unto, the, unto you, I know you not whence you are. Ye, then shall you begin to say, We have eaten and drunk in thy presence. And thou hast taught in thy streets. Can you imagine? Just picture this now. You a Jew. And you was alive when Jesus walked the streets of Jerusalem. Or somewhere in Israel. And maybe you was a leader of a synagogue. Maybe you was a priest. And at judgment day, at the great white throne judgment day, and there will be one, you're standing before the great white throne judgment and you see the Messiah there. And you see it was Jesus. And you say, Lord, I heard your voice in the streets. I even touched you. I felt your presence go by me. Lord, you're the son of God. I confess, you're the son of God. You're the Messiah. And Jesus will say, 2,000 years too late. No, excuse me, 3,000 years too late to get this revelation. You taught in our streets. 
This is the way it's going to be. Why? What was wrong with them? Wisdom cried out in the streets and they didn't have any faith to hear. That's why Jesus said, if, be careful how you hear. He that have ears to hear. Be careful how you hear. Now see, there's all kind of doctrines out there. There's all kind of people. Ofer Winford think that, you know, any, any way that uh, you want to come to God, it's okay. You can believe in any God. It doesn't matter what God. But there's a narrow way. There's a door. Jesus said, I am the door. Come on now. He's the only way into the kingdom. There's two kingdoms. There's many religions. All kind of religion. You can find a religion to suit your life. You can find a religion to suit your cussing, your lostness, your self-righteousness. You can find a religion. You can find millions of gods you can pray to and build altars to. Israel built an altar to their own religion. Wasn't anything long with, wrong with the religion. The religion's purpose was to point people as a schoolmaster to Christ. But they missed the time of his visitation. They didn't have the wisdom to receive the wisdom. Jesus is the wisdom crying in the streets. Now people, when, they, when, they, when they're rebellious and lawless, what they want to tell you is, well, I don't understand that. That, that Bible, I don't understand that Bible. I, I just don't believe that stuff. That's it right there. The reason they don't want to release the faith that God has put in them is because of their self-will, their hard heart, and their determination to resist a God that wants to love them and wants the best for their lives. How many know what I'm talking about? He got the best for me. Look at somebody say, he got the best intentions for me. I know the thoughts that he thinks about me. Hallelujah. They're good thoughts. They resisted all this. He was crying in the street and they resisted. Will y'all give me a few minutes to preach this morning? Because I got to connect some of these points. Hallelujah. Uh, look at this. Then, then shall you begin to say, we have eaten and drunk in thy presence and has taught in thy streets. Wisdom cried out where? And the concourse is in the street. Who was that? Jesus. But he shall say, I tell you, I know you not. Whence you are. Depart from me, all you workers of iniquity. You know when he's going to say that? At the thousand, after the thousand year reign, he's going to say that. Some of these very people that heard these words, they will come back to them in judgment. They will be brought out of hell where their spirit and their soul is. They'll be brought out of hell. They'll be, they'll be put in the, they'll be brought out of hell before the judgment, the white throne judgment, and they'll be cast into the lake of fire. Because they did not receive by faith the Savior. How many know when you receive the faith, when you receive the Savior by faith into your heart? That you don't have to worry about cleaning up your life. All you got to do is submit your will to him, surrender to him, and say, God, take you, take over my life. Get in his word and let the Holy Spirit take that word and work. It will sanctify thee through thy truth. Thy word is truth. He'll cleanse you. He'll make a new person out of you. Hallelujah. Your spirit will be born again. Your mind will be renewed. Your stinking thinking will be purged out. God's got a process. He had it for Israel. Now, when God offers somebody something and they don't take it, he'll take and give it to somebody else because he's got plenty to go around. I, I, don't, I don't hate Muslims. I don't hate, I don't hate people of other religions. What I would like to do is to show them through the Holy Ghost and through the Word of God that Jesus is Lord. Their God's dead. Jesus is alive. Buddha ain't going to do nobody no good. 